yo what's good guys it's your boy dixon from toyota designs i'm back again this week to make it up to you guys for disappearing last month i was really busy back then anyway in today's video is going to be about designing bootleg rap t-shirt designs it's one of those vintage merch sold by rappers in the 90s it's making a comeback recently and i'm sure you've seen it before um, it's also gonna be a pretty easy one. I'll explain why in a sec. Um, I'll also drop some Photoshop tricks in there as well. So hope you learn everything else here from this video. Like always, I got free assets for you broke ass designers. It's a hoodie mock-up that I also use myself on my own clothing brand. Um, it's totally free. Check the link below. One more thing guys, you know what to do, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that I can keep giving out these free assets. Come on guys, it's only just one click. Enough intro, let's go. Okay guys, so like I said earlier, it is pretty easy when you're designing these bootleg designs because you really don't have to care much about the composition. Um, what I mean by that is you don't have to make sure the lighting is on point or you know if the shadow is being cast a certain way so you have to adjust all the assets used. Um, you can pretty much get away with that especially with socket composition. I'll explain more in a sec. Um, the first design is going to be about Baby Kim. He's a new rapper in the game and I actually just found out that he's related to Kendrick Lamar today which is pretty cool. Um, anyway, for now, we'll start with the text and move on to the photos later. Okay, so I imagine this kind of layout for the text and then have baby Kim's photo in the middle. That way the design is well arranged in this sort of rectangular shape. Right now I'm adding a color gradient to the text, I'll do them separately. Um, they're basically going to have the same color and effects. Um, the color theme for this design is going to be mainly blue and then maybe a shade of brown or yellow. So I'll just use that as a guide. So here's the part that gives the text that 3D look. What I do is copy the text layer and then bring the fill value all the way down to zero and then I'm going to add a stroke effect to the layer. Um, depends on how thick you want the stroke to be but in this case I'm going with 10. After that I'll rasterize it and then add a color gradient to the stroke itself. That way it contrasts the gradient inside the main text um, giving it that 3D look. Now I'm adding in the photos, there really is no official guide on how you want to put them together but personally I like to go with the headshot and then another photo from the waist up, maybe a full body shot, depends. Um, I feel like it flows better that way design wise but we'll see how this goes. Another thing I want to add is when you're adjusting the contrast of these photos to achieve that vintage look you're going to want to bring the mid tones all the way up to even out the strong contrast like this photo for example. Um, you can see that it's actually a bit too strong right now but what I do when this happens is use the selective color effect and then tune the red channel down maybe to a brown or yellowish kind of color and then I'll just play with the rest of the colors as well.
So guys, the last step is adding an old texture paper to the overall design and then set the blending mode to multiply. You can see just how much more vintage it looks right now comparing to before. That's it for this design, let's move on to the next. The second design I'm making today is gonna be about the one and only Travis Scott. Technique wise, it'll be the same as the first design essentially. Only differences are the font and the way I arrange the layout and everything. And then um, the color theme I'm going for this is of course brown. If you're familiar with Travis Scott, you know that says, um, I guess you can say his signature color aesthetic. So yeah, let's see how this goes. So here's the text layout I've decided to go for. I wanted to try something different than just square text on the top and bottom. I'll probably change the jack font to the same font as the cactus one. But right now I'm adding these photos of Travis Scott from his GQ shoot. And just like the first design, one headshot and then one full body shot. Um, again, I'll just bring up the mid tones and then tweak the colors using the selective color effect. quick tip guys so i don't like how the way these photos are crap at the bottom so one way we can do to fix that is to fade it out using the mask layer but since you cannot print designs with transparency lower than 100 using dtg that's out of the question so what you can do instead is add a mask layer to the layer you want and then change the blending mode of the brush to the soft um, this is a great way to sort of achieve the similar fading effect while still have it to be completely solid. So the transparency is still 1% and it actually looks better too. So guys, I'm pretty much done here with this design, but for the final touches, I'll be adding some glow effect on the white areas of Travis Scott's face. Um, I just figured it'd be pretty cool. And then yeah, it should be done. So the third and final artist for our bootleg designs today is Tyler the Creator. Um, I get a lot of requests from you guys to do a merch line video for him actually but you know his merch is hella clean already so I'm not so sure about that but what do you think let me know in the comments below anyway so the plan for this design is I'm gonna put the text on the top left corner and then on the bottom right and then I'll find a way to sort of combine the photos together uh, this time though I'll be using three photos instead of two like the previous designs but you know like i said earlier there's no rules for this so yeah we'll see how this goes
so guys just like the previous designs right now i'm blowing out the contrast of the photos it's a bit too even right now to achieve that vintage look luckily though the photos i'm using for this design flow together really well already um that's another thing you should keep in mind before you start designing is to have a plan That looks good so right now i'm just gonna add some glowing effect at the back of these photos i'm using the same technique from the travis scott design which is setting the blending mode of the brush to the soft it also gives out that grainy noise look um, which is something i really like i'll also add three colors to it because the design is pretty colorful itself so it'll be a good complement for the design You know what guys this is my favorite design from today's video i honestly don't know what else to add to this because it looks pretty much done already so i just add the final touches which is the old paper texture and we're ready for the mock-up reveal that's it for today guys hope you learned something from this video um i feel like i talked too much today because i want to be more informative because that seems to be what you guys want so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below um anyway would you get any of these shirts if i were to sell them because i really really like the tyler the creator one and i for real buy one for myself but yeah as always follow me on instagram and tiktok thanks for watching catch you on the next one